In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reduce the space between the icons in your system tray. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways. A lot of people use the brisk menu, and you can use the first method that I'm going to show you. But in this case, since I'm using the old traditional menu, have I have space between the three menus, and I don't want that to change. So on, if you found this on YouTube, you can go to my website, and I have the two different methods uh, in on the site. To start with, we're going to be editing or creating a GTK uh, file.css extension. And I'll go ahead and open that up now. You just simply copy, paste this into your terminal. And when you uh, press the enter key, you'll have to enter your password. And once you do, it'll open up. And as you can see on this machine, there's nothing in this file. So I'm actually creating this file. And I'm going to put the contents inside of it so the next time I reboot my system, the space between these icons will be much closer. Uh, now to start with, if you uh, go to my website, I show you the steps I already did. And on the case of my other computer, my desktop computer, there was nothing in that file. Uh, so I just simply copied and paste that in that file. But when you do the first method uh, using the brisk menu, you can use that because there's no other menus up here to affect. So that would work good if you're using the brisk menu, but I'm not. I'm using the traditional menu. Or if you're using the global menu, you'll have to use the second method, which is here. So what you're going to need to do is just copy this information, paste it into your text editor, and when you hit the save button, since we already give it a name, you hit the save button and since we open it up using the sudo, uh, it's going to allow you to save it in that file and you close it. The next time you reboot your computer, the icons but or the space between your icons you see up here will be much closer. And I'm going to reboot in just a moment. But uh, as you can see here, here was my before and uh, or not my before. The before was up here uh, in the image. You can see there's a lot of space and then here was the after where you can see that the the sun and all that and there's the space on here was not affected so let me reboot my system and I'm going to take a screenshot now so that way that I'll have a before and after and I'll give it a name so let me scroll down I'm going to take a screenshot of the whole desktop so I grab the whole screen so I say take a screenshot I should have shortened my timer uh, and instead of putting in picture folders, I'm going to go other, and I'm going to create a folder. Uh, let's see, I'll create a folder in my picture folder, and I'm going to call it icon spacing. And then I'll say create. Now in here, I'm going to hit open, and I'm going to say before. Well, it's not typing. Let me select it again. And I'm going to type before. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to reboot. And after I reboot, I'll come back and we'll compare the after picture so you can see the before and after. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, uh, the icons are much closer together. Now the sunset, uh, I think it was actually set before I rebooted my computer. And I've done a little other things other than reboot my computer. As you can see, I've opened up my web page and the folder where I'm going to save the a new screenshot. So let me go take another screenshot. I'm going to say grab the whole screenshot. I'm going to save it. And this time I'm going to call it after. I think I did that before I cut my recorder on. And then I realized, well, I need to take the screenshot while people's watching. So I hit the save. It said it already exists. I'll hit yes. Now it overwritten the other file that I didn't have my recorder on. But here's my before and here's my after. So let me bring up the before. And then I'll also open up the after, and then I'll go back and forth between images. So as you can see here, here's the before, and look at the amount of space that was between them. I can almost put my mouse pointer between the individual space of each individual icons. And here's the after. As you can see, they're very uh, close together. Now, if you don't like them that close together, you can leave the default. Or if you want to play around with it, on my website, I do have some values that you can play around with. Here you see I've got 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 4, uh, 0 and uh, 0, 0. Those are some common settings that you can put into this file. Uh, as you can see here, i got 1 pixel and 1 pixel. You can play around with that value where you can increase it 
so that you're putting more space between it. So if you'd like a little bit more space than one pixel length, you can increase that to like two uh, or three or whatever you would like until you get it right. Uh, you don't want to have too much space in it, of course, but you don't want to... I, I like it close together. It reminds me when I used Ubuntu Mate 16.04, the long-term support. Uh, that's what it looked like. I guess when they went and made a, all the changes to the menu, uh, they decided to space it out further. And it didn't change over here if you're using the second method. However, if you come in here and use the first method, and you put just this in here and save it and reboot... Uh, these words, applications, places, and system, the space between them will be very close together. So it would almost look like a run-on word. It'll say applications, places next to it, and systems next to that. So if you're using the brisk menu, that should work okay for you. But if you're using the traditional menu, I recommend scrolling down and putting this into that file name, save it, and reboot. Now, I did use gedit as my text editor to create this file. If, you're, if you don't have gedit, on your system, you can install it on your system or you can replace the word gedit with your favorite text editor like Pluma or many of the other text editors that you have installed on your system. Now I don't know if this works with other uh, Linux or Ubuntu systems but this does work for Ubuntu Mate and it works specifically for Ubuntu Mate 18.04 the long term support and I have 18.04.2 18.04.2, the long-term support. So hopefully if you were liking to decrease the space between your icons, also referred to as decrease the padding space, uh, hopefully this has been a help to you and have a great day.